Here is the brand new, just refreshed 2020 Land Rover Range Rover Evoque. So the Evoque sits in the Range Rover lineup and is the smallest vehicle. It's the entry level one, completely new vehicle. Initially, you'll notice the styling changes. It looks really, really good. The previous one looked pretty good. This one takes a lot of cues from the new Velar. Uh, a lot more slim headlights, it's a lot swoopier. I think it looks amazing. It also might look very similar to the previous generation of Oak, but this is a completely new vehicle, new platform. The wheelbase is slightly longer, but the overall exterior dimensions are very similar. But as you can tell, the styling is updated. It fits along with the rest of the lineup. It looks nice and sleek. It's, it's very good looking, but it is the most compact one in the Range Rover lineup. So Land Rover has the three categories. They've got the Range Rovers, they've got the Discoveries, and then the Defender is actually going to be coming back here. This is a R dynamic package one, so this is the fully option loaded up one. We can talk about powertrains. There are two, two liter four cylinders. The base one is the P250. It makes 246 horsepower. You can upgrade to a 48 volt mild hybrid system. That's the P, I think 300, it's 296 horsepower. Pricing is supposed to start around 42,650, but they steadily climb up as you get the upgraded engines, the upgraded interior trims, um, the R, R dynamic range and everything like that. Other powertrains details it has a nine speed automatic transmission obviously as a Range Rover a Land Rover it is off-road capable despite being the smallest one all-wheel drive system it has all the technology features um, some really cool things are it has a driveline disconnect so when you're just driving around it'll actually disconnect the rear wheels to improve fuel economy but when you need it to go off-road it can other technology features that it is able to do. There's uses cameras to actually, on the screens, it'll make the hood and the front wheels kind of disappear. So you can kind of see through, so it's like translucent. So you can actually see where you're going, helps place the vehicle when you're off-roading. Uh, there's also cameras that allow you to control what you see out the back, whether it's the actual rear view mirror or like a camera view out the back. So even though it's the, the baby Land Rover Range Rover Evoque, it is still very, very much util utilizable. I think it looks great. Um, it is small, it's compact. We'll hop in that one. We can't sit in this car, but there's one over there that we'll see on the interior. But from the outside, I think it looks really good. It ties in with the rest of the uh, Land Rover styling with the Velar style headlights and everything. It looks really sharp. Really big fan of this. Let's go around back and show you the back too. So as you can see, these taillights very much look like the Evoque one. Like there's an Evoque right there. Um, the, the styling really does follow the rest of the lineup now. I think it looks great. It is quite compact and small, but like I said, wheelbase has gotten slightly longer, which results in marginal increases in legroom in the back and uh, trunk space, but it's not quite as large as the Velar or a Sport or a full-size Range Rover, obviously. Let's go hop in the other one and see the interior changes. So here we have another a brand new Evoque. This one we can sit in. So we'll hop inside. One of the changes also they've done is it's got these flush door handles that pop out when you hit the little button for you to open. Um, really similar to kind of what the Jags have. But there you go, pops out more aerodynamic, looks nice. Got this nice like almost purplish reddish interior color. The big news is, hey Ben, if you wanna show right here, is it's gone to the double screen interior. You can see it's got a big 12.3 inch screen in the middle here and then the double 10 inch touchscreens that'll control your infotainment and navigation, um, climate control. So similar to the Velar, I think it debuted on the Velar, this double screen. It's on the full size Range Rovers and the sports now. That is the new interior, it's all touchscreens. It feels pretty nice and premium in here. It's uh, relatively compact, but it's, it really feels like a full size Range Rover now. It's the baby one, but it has all the tech and luxury features you would find in a much more expensive upmarket uh, Land Rover vehicle. Overall, it's pretty cool. Um, they announced the pricing, they debuted this. I think it'll be really important to their sales. The Evoque has been one of the most successful ones, largely because it's the entry level. It's a little more affordable. You can go into the brand, but I mean, this thing is impressively premium. It's got some cool new powertrains, the mild hybrid system, 48 volt, uh, Range Rover, and I think Jag, Land Rover, they all promised that I believe by 2020 or soon, very soon, Every single vehicle in the lineup will have an electrification option. Um, Plug-in is going to be coming, I think. Either way, here is the new Land Rover Range Rover Evoque at the Chicago Auto Show. Hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks for watching. It shocked me when I tried to open it earlier. This carpet's all staticky. I'm going to see if I can fit in the back of an Evoque. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is actually, 
I've got some decent head headroom right here. Come here, look. It's not my legs are my legs are in, but also it's got the giant. I didn't notice this initially. The entire panoramic moonroof. That's pretty nice. This is not meant for full size adults like me in the back. What do you mean I'm not full size? You're extra size. Extra sized. <laughs> ah, I'm out. Okay. All right, it's decent sized. Or you can climb in. Uh, climb in. Okay. It will fit me. Okay, we're done. 